for today's Cyber CEO episode. Her name is Sly Luz Bay. She takes care of my social media marketing. She sets up my standard operating procedure. We have a Google Drive that we share that she keeps all my files under control. I get a list of people I'm to call every day from her and we go over my schedule and she keeps me scheduled. Supporting her and, and making sure that she knows what my expectations are and that she's meeting my expectations. And that's that's what has built our relationship. She's extremely reliable and very trustworthy. She's dogged. She just goes at it. She's got a great personality, always up, always friendly, and always worried about making sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And so it just feels like it's a really good environment between the two of us. Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. Okay, another awesome week here at Cyberbacker. My name is Jello. We're back with another episode of Cyber CEO. And of course, we have a very special guest on the show right now. James, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. We moved offices a couple of months ago. So last night was the grand opening of the new set of offices. So it was a big party here. And it was great. Wow, exciting stuff. Now, um, also, I wanted to thank you for your time because I know you have a lot on your plate, a lot of things to do, especially in the business. So we really, really appreciate you being here. Now, um, to let you know, we have a lot of listeners who are business owners just like yourself. Now, I need your help. Um, can you introduce yourself to our audience? Maybe let's start with what's your role in the business, James? I'm Jamie Barber, and I'm a realtor. I've, I've been a realtor for actually for a relatively short time. Um, before that, I was a director and cinematographer in the film business. And so I retired and decided that i'd always loved real estate so i decided to move over into it and my main focus on, on my work mm -hmm. and running the company is um, to help out people in the entertainment industry because it's actually very hard you know we're a lot of we're independent contractors most of the time and they go they look at houses or they want to put their house on the market yeah. and the next thing you know they've got a movie in budapest so I take over those challenges and deal with that. And it's great. There we go. So really great experiences for you, especially in real estate. And you mentioned that you really liked it even before, right? Yeah. Oh, no, definitely. As you know, through my life, I've bought and sold a lot of real estate. Mm -hmm. And once I was getting to that age where I was like, okay, I'm getting tired of living in foreign, you know, living in like Budapest and mm -hmm. Bulgaria and all of this, yeah. that I decided, you know what? why should I pay a real estate agent when I can just do it Yourself. myself? Yeah, there we go. Great business opportunity right there. Now, um, now I'm curious, um, working with someone who's virtual, is this your first time, by the way? Yeah, it's yeah. my very first time working with Cyberback. Your first time. Now, I know in the, the previous um, field that you've been in, you were used to working with people that you can meet every day. So now yeah. everything's going a bit more virtual. So was it a big change for you? Well, it was funny because the pandemic had hit mm -hmm. and everything was being run virtually anyway. Like no one was coming into the office. Mm -hmm. Everything was being done on Zoom. Mm -hmm. So when um, when it was discussed about me needing an assist, starting to need an assistant, mm -hmm. that the business was getting busy, then it was brought up to me that uh, I may want to consider a cyber backer. And one of the a couple of the people in the office have you have used cyber backers and so i did a little research and decided it was a perfect fit mm -hmm. you know and i'm good virtual you know i've, I've had to do i've ac actually had to do it in my other career as well where mm -hmm. even though you've got people on the set True. there are times that you have to speak to people like back in los angeles the mm -hmm. studio all of that and that was most of the time done virtually 
You didn't want them flying to wherever you were because then they would just be a monkey wrench in the works. <laughs> so really, you did have experience working with people virtually then in a previous profession then. Am I right? Yes. Yeah, because editor, editors were never with you and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So you always had to, when you uh, were color timing, mm -hmm. usually the timers aren't in the same country you're in. So you have to do everything virtually Virtual. with them. All right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now, um, just to know, by the way, I forgot to ask this earlier. How did you find out about Cyberbacker and that virtual leverage piece? It started with, um, I work with a maps coach, what we call a maps coach. And so my maps coach, we were going through me growing my business and everything I need. And we were talking about that I'm going to need an assistant or uh, to help out with things that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And that would free me up for other other things. And uh, my maps coach, Tyler, suggested that I look into Cyberbacker. Mm -hmm. So then I I went around the office and I said, does anybody here use a Cyberbacker? And then the head of the office or the head of the regional area for Keller Williams, he uses one. And so we talked about the pros and cons and that was it. And next thing I know, I went, okay, I'm going to commit. This is, sounds great. Um, how long have you been working with Cyberbacker, by the way? Three months, something like that. Three months, okay. Four Fair. months. Fairly new partnership then. Now, um, I'm curious, what are the tasks that you leverage off to your Cyberbacker now? Her name is Sia Luz Bay. Mm -hmm. She takes care of my social media marketing. Mm -hmm. We needed to set up our standard operating procedures so that mm -hmm. as the if business expands further, I can show that. So she sets up my standard operating procedure. We have a Google Drive that we share that she keeps all my files under control. Mm -hmm. I get um, a list of people I'm to call every day from her and my, and we go over my schedule and she keeps me scheduled. So she almost has her hands in everything. And almost, almost. Almost. Well, actually, she, I think she does other than my bank account. <laughs> there we go. Now, um, but, yeah. Barely, fairly new partnership between you and your cyber backer. Um, three months in, what are some of the new things though that you're planning to let her do? Let's say within the next six months from today. Well, right now I want her to. Um, we're going to expand to having her do all of the marketing, mm -hmm. not just the digital marketing, mm -hmm. uh, which she's sort of moving her way into, mm -hmm. and then pretty much running the day to day operations of the of the company. So more tasks to do, more opportunities for her to grow, of course. Yes. Now, and I already, we already, I mean, I send her stuff. I said, listen, I want you to learn this. And I send her, um, you know, people to listen to. Um, a suggestion, something like that for her to grow as for her growth, I mean. Right. And for her growth and for my, and for the company growth. Of course, of course. Now, um, again, a fairly new partnership between you and your cyber backer. Um, how do you create? a strong bond with someone who's virtual because I know for sure that some of our listeners um, might have difficulties when it comes to working with someone virtual. So do you have any tips that you can share? One was we set up, we set up the time that she works in a time that is appropriate for me, which I found, you know, a little crazy that it was going to be like one in the morning, when we, <laughs> but she does great. I didn't can't I didn't silence the phone. That's been great. Uh, and then we have we had a rapport right up. You know, we have conversation. We've had conversations. I've learned her family. I you know, um, I know other things that she's doing in in her life, and we just have those conversations because she's such a great person and great cyberbacker. We have a a very easy rapport. Yeah. Where it, and I think that and trust building trust where I know that, you know, as we started, mm -hmm. I, you know, we would give her tasks and she was just, you know, she was dogged at getting those tasks done. But and then if something was taking longer, which I knew it would because mm -hmm. I gave her this huge task to do, she would become very apologetic. Like I didn't get it all done today. And I said, my expectations were you weren't going to get it all done today mm -hmm. and you were fantastic. And I just think. Supporting her and, and making sure that she knows that what my expectations are and that she's meeting my expectations and that I'm trying to support her as, as well as, as her supporting me. 
And that's that's what has built our relationship. There we go. So really building on the trust and investing in your cyber backer, not just throwing tasks at her. Is that what you mean? No, to making sure that she's, you know, you don't want someone who's going to sit in front of a computer screen. I mean, sure. people do, but um, I think that sort of gets boring. So I wanted to make sure, and I wanted to provide her opportunities for her to grow as well in the company. There we go. Again, investing in her growth then. Now, one last question. Um, I know for a fact that she's going to be able to watch this once we have this online. So we'd like to know, what do you like most about her? What's the first thing that comes to mind when we talk about your cyberbacker? The very first thing that comes to mind is that she's extremely reliable, reliable. and very trustworthy. I mean, and then, like I said, she's dogged. She just goes at it. And when we speak, she's got a great personality, always up, always friendly, you know, and always worried about, you know, making sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And so it just feels like it's a really good environment between the two of us. There we go. Now, we are very, very excited to see where this partnership leads to for the next couple of months. And again, Jamie, thank you very much for dropping by. I had fun talking to you today. All right. My pleasure. Thank you for listening to our daily dose of Cyber CEO. Stay tuned to know more about how Cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age. You can visit our website www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.